Today you're going to be taking a look at the best wiring options for your 2011 Buick Enclave. If your Enclave doesn't have the factory tow package, we're going to have a few different options for that. Over here we're going to have the Kurt T-Connector wiring harness. Next to that we're going to have the Tecancha wiring harness. And then finally over here we're going to have the Hopkins wiring harness. Now obviously they're all going to look a little bit different but the end result is going to give us a four pole flat trailer connector so we can provide all the lights to our trailer and safely get down the road. So with our Tecancha and our Kurt you can see they're going to look very similar. Really the main difference here is going to be the color of the wire but each one of them is going to have a T connector that's going to plug in behind the vehicle's tail light. It's going to have one end that will plug from the harness from our vehicle and then the other end is going to plug directly into the taillights. So it's just going to be like an inline circuit, so our taillights will still work, but there's also going to be power going out to our connector. Both of these are going to be an extremely easy installation. We're not going to have to run any extra wires, do any kind of cutting or splicing. With our Hopkins, you can see that it is a much larger wiring harness, and there are a few extra pieces with it. Now the installation is going to be a little bit more in-depth, but the basic part is going to be the same. We're still going to have those T-connectors that are in between our tail lights. However, we're going to have a powered tail light converter, which is going to take that signal and turn it into a working signal for our trailer, while also protecting our vehicle to make sure that we don't have any kind of back feeding if anything were happening to the trailer side. Now, since it is a powered tail light converter, they are going to provide us with the length of wire that we'll have to run from our converter up to the positive post on our battery and we'll have a fuse holder in place to make sure that we're not going to overload any circuits or cause any damage. We'll also have a ground, just like the other two kits that we'll have to put in place. So our Hopkins is going to provide us that protection, but it is a little bit more involved. Whereas our Tecancha and Kurt are going to be an extremely quick and easy installation. With those things in mind, our Kurt and our Tecancha are going to be fully capable of handling a trailer that has only a few lights on it. If your trailer has a couple tail lights or brake lights, maybe a few side markers, these will be perfectly fine. However, if your trailer has tons of lights on it and looks like a Christmas tree going down the road, I would definitely suggest going with the Hopkins because it is going to have that separate powered tail light converter and make sure it protects our vehicle from any kind of back feeding and we won't overload our tail light circuits. Now each one of these wiring harnesses is designed to stay on the outside of the vehicle at all times, typically be mounted close to where the hitch is. So you can pick up a four pole mounting bracket so it'll be ready and have a sturdy location and you can find those here at eTrailer.com. Now for those of you that do have the tow package or an existing seven way on the back of your Buick, we are going to have a few different options of what you can do. We're going to have a few kits that are going to be available to where you can keep that existing seven way on the back but you can add a four pole flat onto it as well. And that's going to work typically the same way that our T-connectors do except we're going to unplug our seven-way connector and we'll have a T-connector so we can still use that existing one, but we're going to be adding a four-pole. Now, if you just have the connector underneath the vehicle but don't have the seven-way plug at the back, we do have an option. Also, we're going to have the US car connector that'll plug into our factory wiring and it'll provide us with a four-pole flat or a seven-way connector, whichever one you'd like. We do have a wide variety of options available. It just matters if you want a four pole, a seven way, or both. So whether you're looking to add wiring to your vehicle if it doesn't have a tow package, add a socket to one you already have, or replace one, we're gonna have an option that's gonna work for you and your Buick. 